everybody. So today's video is going to be a simple contouring routine. Um, this video is for people who are new to contouring and don't really know too much about it and just want to know, you know, more or less not how the right way to contour is, but what is a good way for them to contour. So I'm going to show you guys how I basically contour. I don't usually contour every day. Um, and I don't usually ever contour my nose, but I'm going to contour my nose just for this video so you guys can learn and just show you some tips and tricks for contouring. Not yet. Hold on. Before we get started, don't forget to hit the freaking subscription button. Hit it right now. If you love me, hit it. So if you want to see how I like to contour or just basically see a simple contour routine, then just keep watching. Alright guys, so the contour stick that I am going to be using for today's video is going to be the Hula Quickie Contour Stick. For those of you who have the pleasure of being able to get products from Sephora, um, I would definitely recommend this for your contour stick, especially if you are just learning to contour. It's really good. If not, the drugstore has really great alternatives like the Wet n Wild Contour Stick is amazing. Also, I know, I think L'Oreal... Yeah, L'Oreal has a contour stick as well, and so does Jordana. Also, who else has another one? Maybelline has a contour stick that's like dual-sided. It has the brown side on one side and then the concealer on the other side. So, basically, there is a lot of options at the drugstore if you guys are looking for drugstore contour sticks. But the one I'm going to be using in this video is this little guy right here. Um, and like I said, I really like this for contouring. It blends out super easy. And I love that I have the powder to put right on top of it. So for today, I'm going to go ahead and use my Beauty Blender to blend out this um, contour. So my Beauty Blender is a little dry for me putting on all my makeup before. So I am going to spray this Smashbox um, Photo Finish Primer Water onto my Beauty Blender just to moisten it up and help it really um, blend everything together. So that's just a quick little tip for you guys. Um, I like using this product with a beauty blender. Some people like a brush, but this one specifically for me works better with the beauty blender. I also got the Anastasia contour stick, well, the Anastasia foundation stick, and I don't know if you guys watched, but I did a battle of the contour sticks. I will link that down below. Um, I didn't really like that one because it was a little hard to blend out, just like her contour palettes that I find a little hard to blend out, and that's not even she reformulated her contour palettes but even if I still don't like them they're very thick to blend out and I find her contour stick to be the same um, but yeah just to get started we're gonna go ahead and pop this bad boy open so when you contour I'm gonna show you guys a quick little trick um, I've said it in my previous videos before but when you contour you like to follow your jawbone line so um, the way to figure this out is with a um you could just use like a brush or anything that has like a straight tip and from the middle of your ear almost the top of your ear right here you're gonna follow with the stick down to right here in your mouth and that is your contour line now i don't recommend that everybody contours from this point up i only like to bring my contour like up to here because then it gets too heavy on the cheeks and on my mouth area and then that pair that place becomes darker so when we're contouring we just want to really define certain areas so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do so those are the first two places I usually place my contour this is just for my cheekbones and this is really gonna help slim my face so we'll go ahead and blend that out I'm gonna do this section by section so that it doesn't get too much on you guys I like to blend like towards the like away from my face and up towards my cheekbone so I will show you guys And I don't know if you guys saw, but look, it just blended out like a dream. It subtly defined my cheek, which I like, because I'll go back in with the contour powder from the Hula Bronzer, and it'll work just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and blend the side too. And sometimes it almost appears to blend down to even nothing, you guys, but it's there. Um, I like to build it up just a little bit sometimes, so like for example right now I'm going to build it up just for you guys. So this one I placed just a little bit higher and when you place your contour higher than what it is, 
then where it naturally lays it just slims your face a little tiny bit more and it kind of gives a bronzing effect to it so that is what I'm just doing here and I don't know if you guys saw how quick that blended out I think the quicker you place this down and the quicker you blend it out the better it works I think if you let the product sit there it's gonna definitely cling to your skin like it's doing on this side it still blends out but you just have to work a little bit more for it to blend out but yeah, so that is my cheeks both contoured. I want to teach you guys kind of a little trick to make your pout look bigger. So usually, and I think I learned this from either it was Laura Lee or Carly Bible when I first first started watching them. I do this all the time. Um, only if I feel like my lips are like super flat, um, I'll do it. But um, to make your pout appear bigger, what you want to do is just get the bottom of this, and you can do this with powder or cream, doesn't matter, and just. Place it right under your lip because what it's going to do is create a shadow that makes your, your lip appear more plump and full. And wow, it's done. I blended it out. And then for the forehead, I got a big ass forehead. So I like to contour and bronze my forehead. So when you bronze and contour your forehead, you never want to place product in the center of your forehead. That is the high point of your face. That is a point of your face that is supposed to be lighter and bright as compared to here, where it could be warmer. Um, just so you know, the darker you make it on the sides, the narrower your forehead's going to get. The darker you make it at the top, the shorter your forehead's going to get. So just so you guys know that um, and figure out which one works better for you. I kind of do a little bit of both, so I'll just show you guys mine. I kind of just line the whole edge of my forehead because there's a lot to work with. And like I said, this product works better when you blend it out faster. I mean, as soon as you place it down. And with this, you'll just want to move it back towards your hairline. You don't want to move it forward because then it's going to be too dark on your forehead. This, you want it to make it seem natural. So if you pull it back into your hairline, it seems um, very natural and natural. And you appear more sun-kissed. So, yeah. And I'm just going to build this up a little bit more. And I'm going to spray the bottom of my booty blender with my same um, spray. Guys, I'm trying out a new lens, so let me know how you guys like it. Is it better? Is it worse? Um, let me know, let me know, let me know, let me know. See, I love that I added the, the primer water to my thing because it's just making everything blend out even easier than I thought. So that is my forehead and my cheeks and my lips contoured. Very important guys when you contour, if you want to have more of a defined jaw or more of like a pulled back neck, um, I recommend contouring under your neck. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how I do this. Um, I do it on my clients a lot and they love it. So yeah, we'll just show you. So I don't know if you guys can see my buggers. Um, but yeah, I just did all that under my neck and I'm going to go ahead and blend it up. Alright guys, so that is my face and neck contoured. Um, nothing serious. Um, and then so for the nose contour, you can just apply this straight. But I want to be bougie and I want to contour like super on point on my nose. So what I'm going to do is get a concealer brush and use the same product but just on a brush. Um, contour my nose. Alright, so I am just going to be using this Morphe brush. It came like in a little set and just getting some product from the tip of it. Like this and like this. And this product is, I don't want to say greasy, but it is oily. So I, I'm a little skeptical of how this would work on oily skin types, but um, if you set it with the Hula powder, I'm pretty sure it would be perfect. Um, but yeah, so for contouring your nose, I'm going to get a little closer for you guys. So I find it easy to just do this. Come down the bridge of your nose with that. A little crazy. And then with a little brush, drag it up into your brow cave. That's what I'm going to call it. I don't know if that's what it's called. You just want to drag it up. Because this is the natural shape of your face and this what I'm doing here by dragging it up into my brows is giving it a very um, narrow Elongated look I guess you could say 
Some people really like to let their contour sit there, but I'm not one of them. Of course, you know me. And yeah, we'll just go ahead and see how this comes out. Like I said, you guys, don't be harsh, but I don't contour my nose. And then what you want to do is with your beauty blender, um, sometimes there'll be products still on it. I just like to go in with it and just diffuse that contour a little bit because it's always a little harsh especially up towards my eyes so that is how I contour my nose so I am just gonna go ahead and contour with the hula powder now to set everything so this is the hula powder they just came out with the hula light and I'm really interested to try it only because um, I, I have seen that it does appear really light in the pan but once you apply it to your face it just adds a really nice warmth so for those of you who are really white like your girl here um, I think that we would really enjoy that. So if you guys have tried that, let me know. Um, I would love to test it out. So really, I'm not going to contour with it. You know what? I mean, I am going to contour with this. Fuck it. So to contour, I am going to be using this uh, Royal and Langenickel contour brush. It's just this guy right here. I'm going to clean it off a little bit. And just dip it straight into pan. And I'm going to lightly contour. What really helps me when I contour with powders and all that stuff is I'll make, I know it's a weird face, but I'll make this face. And you see how it really like helps me find my bone there? I'll keep that face just so it helps me. I'll show you guys. Just watch. And I know my little weird fish face is weird, but it helps. So if you find yourself doing it, you know why. So there is that side with the powder setting my contour, and then there's the regular side. What I'm doing on my forehead is I just dip my brush back into the product, and I am trying to hit up the outer corners of my forehead because I don't want my forehead that dark either and uneven with the rest of my body. And then I'm just going to get a smaller brush for my nose. So I'm going to be using just a little precise blending brush and blending down the sides of my nose. And then with the same thing with the beauty blender, like you see how like pinch my nose look? That's too much, too much sauce. We're gonna take that down and just push it in. All right, so there is that. Um, my forehead, everything's contoured. I'm just gonna contour my neck. Well, not contour, but it's set in my neck. And I'm just gonna be using my crown brush. This is their SS023 Jumbo Kabuki brush. Cool. And I'm gonna somehow try to And yeah, so I know I didn't really guys, I, I know I really didn't show you guys where you would kind of highlight or place your concealer if you were contouring, but that wasn't the purpose of this video. This video was just to show you how to contour, but just to inform you guys, when you do highlight, you're going to want to highlight under the eyes. So here, then you're going to want to place them on your chin just a little bit because that's a high point of your face on the tip of your nose. And then right here as well, another high point of your face. Now, another area that people like to contour and highlight as well, just to enhance the features and make the contour itself look more sharp, is people like to place contour right along right here in order to make this line look really sharp. But personally, to me, that doesn't look, um, <laughs> it doesn't look natural, um, and it looks very... I don't want to say studio, but it just doesn't look like everyday wear. It looks very, um, very Instagram-like. I'm not saying I don't put powder there to clean it up, but for an everyday look, i rather have, like, you know, gradients and differences in my face. Um, so yeah, just as my last little tip for contouring, if you want that airbrush finish and not a harsh look, be sure to use a stippling brush to blend out your powders. Um, I really like this because it gives me that airbrush finish and it really helps not make my face look powdery because it pushes everything into my skin. I'm um, not pushes, but it stipples every bit of the product into my skin and it also takes away product where it needs to be taken away. Um, but yes, yeah, so that is my contour routine and I didn't throw on a lipstick. I'm going to do that for you guys right now. <laughs> 
So the two um, lipstick combinations that I just applied is the Sephora. It doesn't say, but it's a matte lipstick and it is called, it doesn't even have a name, the, it's just a number. It's 4240D, but it is like a matte um, lipstick in a light pink shade. And then the lip gloss that I tried on, I mean the lip gloss that I have on is this MAC lip gloss. This is super old. This is like I got my freshman year in high school. Um, and it's gone through a lot <laughs> with me, honestly. Like, I haven't done this way because there's like memories to this. I can't throw it away. Um, but like memories with my girlfriends, like not anything weird. Um, but yeah. And um, I've had this since high school and I got it in a little MAC Trio kit from the holidays. My mom got it for Christmas one year. And yeah, so that is what I have on my lips. And I love how this look came out. And I love how my contour looks. So yeah, um, if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe on your way out. Also, in the description box, there will be all the information as to what products I have on my face. And yeah, I really hope you guys like this video. Thank you guys for watching. And yeah, see you guys in my next video. Peace.